G'day guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make your own little wireless uh, USB receiver for uh, simulator use. <coughs> Let's get right to it. Now the first thing you're going to need obviously is a USB cable from a simulator. Um, um, the one I've got is for an old eSky transmitter but any PPM USB um, cable will do the job. Uh, basically the first thing you want to do is grab your multimeter out and uh, throw around to continuity. So we've got continuity over here. And basically you just want to trace out where ground is going to, to the end of the, this here cable, and where the, the PPM input is coming from this cable. Um, I have an old little connector from a, another remote so I just plug that in and got the wires and you'll need a uh, the end of a servo servo lead and you'll want to put ground obviously to to brown or to one that you'll remember as, as ground and the PPM input to uh, to a, well, in some cases it'll be white or or whatever, but just on the absolute opposite end to ground. And um, once you've made up your own little your little cable, you can just cut this off, cut this off a servo, and um, and cut the end off this, and uh, hook the wires up directly. I just made this little thing so I didn't have to uh, cut my cable. Or anything silly. So uh, once that's done, you can plug that in. So I've got ground on brown and the PPM input on orange. Now, on your receiver, this is just a, a Titan 6 channel receiver. I believe the Hobby King version 2 receivers, the Turnigy version 2 receivers. Um, most of the 6 to 9 channel receivers actually spew out PPM data from the battery port. So that's what we're putting to use here. So basically we just plug in and then we plug in our cable and then we give our receiver power. Now there's a few different ways you can do that. You could take 5 volts from the USB, I could take that from from here. Um, at the moment I'm just using a little two cell battery with um, that's an old receiver board from an eSky uh, but it's just got a little L17805 voltage reg on there so I'm just using that to power the receiver. And uh, once that's all done you're wireless. All you've got to do then is set up a uh, a simple four channel um, model on your transmitter. Uh, I'm using ER9X, so that was pretty simple. I just uh, used one of the presets there. And you're off and racing. I'll head over to the computer now and uh, show that in action. Alright, so we're back at the computer. We've got our USB cable, we've got our transmitter and we've got our power source. So we'll plug it in. Plug in my cable to my little custom made plug. And then we'll give it some power. This is my little power source coming in. And of course we'll turn on the transmitter. So it lights on, connected. We can shove that down here. And we're now wireless. Um I'll select my model. Just a simple four channel. And we're in Phoenix. And uh, if everything went right, we're ready to go.